Hi dear students, in the last class we had seen the villain Shylock justifies his act of collecting interest from others by quoting from the scripture or the religious text. He is quoting the story of Jacob from Old Testament, the Bible, in order to justify his money lending practice and at the same time he says to gain profit we can use any means. Through any ways we can gain profit except stealing. Don't steal except stealing any ways we can gain profit. But Antonio doesn't agree with that one. And after seeing the comments from Shiloh, Antonio says to Bassanio that he is a villain with a smiling face. Shiloh is a villain with a smiling face and in his heart all the evil things are there but the appearance is something very different he is appeared to be a good person but inside he is an evil he is just like a villain with a smiling face and it is just like a goodly apple with a rotten at the heart it was the comment by antonio about shylock then shylock changes the topic and asks antonio about the money 3000 decades and now we will see the rest of the scene. You may please take page number 41. In the earlier class, we had seen that Shylock hates Antonio because of three reasons. First of all, Antonio is a Christian. And second one, Antonio brings down the interest rate in Venice by giving money without interest. And the third one, Antonio abused Shylock many times. Now we will see what all are the abuse that Antonio made to Shylock. Shylock says to Antonio, Senior Antonio, many a time and often in Rialto you have rated me. So as I told you, now we are going to see the kind of abuses that Antonio did to Shylock. First Shylock says that, Senior Antonio, often you have abused me in Rialto, the Venetian Stock Exchange, about my money and my money lending practices. The words meaning you have to go through, oft meaning often, Rialto, as I told earlier, it is the Venetian Stock Exchange. You have rated me, rated me here mean abused me, about my money and my Usain's. Usain's means money lending deal and what is the money lending deals or practice of Shylock give money to other people with a high interest so senior Antonio Shylock says that you have many times abused me in stock exchange about my money and my money lending practices still have I borne it with a patient shrug for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe and what was the reaction of Shylock towards the abuses that Antonio did to Shylock? He says that I always, still means always, I always shrugged my shoulders and suffered it with patiently. The word shrug means raise shoulder to express our indifference or we consider something as unimportant. So Shylock says that whenever you used to abuse me in Rialto, I used to consider all those things as unimportant with a patient shrug. Very, I suffered patiently the abuses that you made to me. And what is the reason for that one? Because for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. The reason is that for patience is the badge of our race. Badge means the characteristic. And that tribe we know Shylock is a Jew and Jewish person and in a way he says suffering or the long suffering is the very characteristic of Jewish tribe if you read the history of Jewish tribe then we can understand that one they believe that they are the chosen one by God but in the history we will see many times these Jewish tribe they were attacked by many enemies and even in the second world war you might have read about the uh, massacre that happened during the Second World War. Hitler killed almost 60 lakh Jewish people. Here Shylock says to Antonio that whenever you abused me, then I used to suffer because suffering is the very characteristic of my tribe. 
and now we will see some of the abusing words that antonio used you call me a misbeliever cutthroat dog and spit upon my jewish gabardine and for all use of that which is my own for you call me misbeliever that means non believer the second one cut throat dog a merciless dog and spit upon my jewish gabardine gabardine means a long loose dress worn traditionally by jews and here antonio used to spit upon shylock's gabardine his long dress and these all are the some of the abuses that antonio did to shylock which are the antonio called shylock as a misbeliever then merciless dog and many times antonio spit on the gabardine of shylock and for all use of that which is mine own and why antonio did all these things to shylock according to shylock it is all because i put to use that which is my own my own means my own and what is the mine own or my own it is the money of shylock and what was the reason for antonio did all these things he used to abuse shylock many times only because of the money lending practice and that money belongs to shylock and that money is not the antonio that is why shylock says that you abused to me for the use of what is my own i used my money in order to make profit in my life and for that for that very reason you blamed me and you abused me so from this we point we can say that here shylock there is a reason behind shylock's enmity towards antonio and actually shylock is not a good person the money lending practice it is not good that is why antonio abused or blamed shylock but according to shylock or in his view point whatever antonio did it was very wrong the reason is that shylock used his money for making profit then shylock continues go to then you come to me and you say shylock we would have monies you say so you that did void your rem upon my beard and foot me as you spend a stranger cull over your threshold monies is your suit now shylock says to antonio you blamed me for my money and my money lending practice now you are here for the same money go to then means come you come to me and you say shylock we would have monies that means we want some money now you are asking that you are asking me that you need money you say so you that did void your rem upon my ba void your rem means to spit and shylock says that now you come here and asking for money the same person who used to spat upon my beard and foot me as you a spin a stranger cur as foot foot means kicked and you spin a stranger cur spin here means push me out a stranger cur a stranger dog and from where antonio kicked shylock out from over your threshold over your threshold means from your house out of your house so here shylock says that now you come to me and asking for the money and about the same money you abused me many times and because of the same money issues and money lending practice you spat on my beard many times and you kicked me out of your house many times and now you come with a request that you need the money so the last sentence money is your suit that means you have come now with a request for money take next page then shylock continues what should i say to you should i not say hath a dog money is it possible a cur can lend 3000 ducats or shall i bend low and in a bond man's key with a bated breath and whispering humbleness say this fair sir you spit on me on wednesday last you spend me such a day another time you called me a dog and for this courteous i will lend you this much monies now we can see that shylock is making use of the opportunity and blaming antonio 
for whatever antonio did towards shylock and he says what should i say to you means what shall i tell you shall i not say has a dog any money whether the dog is having money because earlier antonio called shylock a dog that is why shylock now says whether the dog has got money that is why you come here is it possible a cur can lend 3000 ducats do you think is it possible for a dog to lend you 3000 ducats so shylock remembers each abuses that antonio made to shylock that is why he says you come to the dog and ask him for the money and do you think that it is possible for a dog to lend 3000 ducats to you and otherwise or shall i bow low i shall i bend low means bow down and in a bond man's key bond man's key means as a servant or a submissive voice bond man's key the meaning it is given there a voice like a slave just like a slave with a bated breath bated breath means anxious breath and whispering humbleness humble whisper so normally the servant they won't speak in a louder voice with their master and they will be very humble that is why shylock says that should i bend down before you just like a servant and the with a submissive voice and a anxious breath whispering humbleness a humble whisper what should i say fair sir fair sir means noble sir last wednesday you spat on me on another day you pushed me out of the way another time you called me a dog and because of those acts of so called politeness shall i lend you the money you want the courteous means the polite actions we know that all these are not polite actions these all are abuses and why shylock says that it all are polite actions because shylock in a way mocking at antonio and or ridiculing antonio for what reason because antonio many times abused shylock and now shylock remembers all the abuses that antonio did and he just taking the revenge that is why he says now you come to me and you called me as a dog and do you think that whether the dog can give you enough money and whether should i stand before you as a servant and say that because of all the abuses that you have done should i give you money so i hope that you understood so these all are some of the abuses that antonio made and uh, there itself we can notice the reaction of shylock about the abuses that antonio did to shylock and now we will see how antonio responds to this antonio says i am asked like to call thee so again here antonio says that he doesn't have any kind of guilt for that one and now also he is ready to call him as a dog a strange dog or spit on shylock and to kick shylock from the house so antonio doesn't feel any kind of guilt why because of shylock's character only because shylock lends money with high interest and make money in a not proper way then he continues if thou wilt lend this money lend it not as to thy friends if thou wilt thou means you wilt means will if you lend this money if you are going to give the money then give the money not as to your friends don't give the money as you give to your friend do not lend it as you would do to a friend to just to an enemy in that way only you should give don't give the money as you give you to your friend what is the reason for saying that one the reason is that for when did friendship take a breed for barren metal of his friend a breed for barren metal the meaning it is given there a product of sterile metal that is interest breed for metal here it is interest in a way antonio says that whenever the friends give money to another friend they won't take interest so this statement it is an example you just note the meaning given there 131 it is a classic example of anti usury usury means 
money lending practice it is something against the money lending practice this is an example for money lending practice and he says that when did any friend take from his friend a profit on a loan of unproductive money no friends will take good friends won't take interest for the money they had given to their friends but lend it rather to thine enemy who if he breaks though may is with a better face exact the penalty so antonio says that don't give the money as you give to your friend because normally the friends they won't get interest or they won't take interest for the money they gave to their friend but you give the money to me as you give the money to your enemy but lend it rather to thine enemy thine means your enemy so give the money as you give money to your enemy what is the advantage of that advantage of giving money as to enemy is that if he break if that person fails to repay the amount though may is with a better face exact the penalty so from whom if he defaults or fail to repay you can without guilt take your penalty so if it is to an enemy there is no guilt feeling you can get the money by using any method that is why antonio says that don't give the money as you give to your friend but give the money as you give to your enemy so that if i fail to repay the amount then you can use any kind of measure the methods and without any kind of guilt you can take your penalty seeing this shailok says that why look you how you storm the meaning is given here see how you have become angry you are getting angry and you are losing your temper i would be friends with you and have your love forget the shames that you have stained me with the meaning is that i would like to have your friendship and love and to forget the shameful things you have done to disgrace me stained me the meaning is that to disgrace so shailok says that i am ready to be a friend i am ready to make a friendship with you and i am ready to have your love and even i am ready to forget the shames that you have done to disgrace me and he continues supply your present wants and take no do it of usains for my monies and you will not hear me this is kind i offer supply your present wants means i am ready to give what you need right now and take no do it do it means it is a small amount and shailok says that i am ready to give the money and even without small interest and take no do it of usains usains you know the meaning it is interest for my monies if i give the money i am not going to take any interest for the money that i am going to give and you will not hear me the meaning is that but you do not listen to me so earlier shailok says that earlier i had mentioned many of the insult that you have done to me so you don't listen to that one i am now ready to give the money you want and i am not going to take any kind of a small amount of interest for the money that i am going to lend you and then he says that this is kind i offer so now we are going to see the meaning of kind 140 the meaning the right side it is given three different meanings are given normally the kind means the kindness the sympathy or the empathy that shows to another person that is the kindness so in the first sense we can understand that okay this is the kindness that i offer but there are two other important meanings the second means a kind is used and in the sentence a man likes the company of his own kind the same category in order to express same category the first one it is to express the sympathy or empathy towards another person but here the second one it is to express the same kind the same category of people thus shylock means this is your system of loan which i offer without any interest we know the system of loan practice without taking interest so here shylock also says that now i am also going to follow the same system the same kind of system that you follow that is giving money without interest earlier we had seen shailok says that you can take money without any small amount of interest so the 
kind the category the same type of interest system money lending system that you follow i am also going to follow to you and the third meaning is that kind also has the usage to pay a man in kind which means to return similar treatment to him the same kind that means in a same manner the similar manner shylock also is going to treat antonio so shylock may have thought here that he intends to repay antonio with insult similar to those he had received himself we notice that shylock many times received insult from antonio and now shylock may have intention that he also going to pay back or give back the same kind of insult to antonio that is why he uses this kind i offer three meanings may be there the first one kindness the imp- empathy or the sympathy and the second one is that the same system of money lending practice that is followed by antonio shylock also is ready to follow and the third one it is that shylock may intends that he also take same kind of insult and he may also use the same kind of insult to antonio then basanio says this way kindness basanio take it in ordinary sense that is why he says that it would be a very kindness because you give me money without any kind of interest but we do not know the intention of shylock what is the intention of shylock that we will see in the next class hope that you understood go through the lesson that we discussed today thank you have a nice day